from Chicago. At 500 pounds, 6 foot 9, the one man gang, the current UWF champion. Also, General Standor Akbar. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Ross back with you at the Pulse Convention Center. I've been joined by the president of UWF, Cowboy Bill Watson. Bill, thank you very much for being with us here for this very important encounter between Ted DiBiase and the one man gang. Give us your man great bout. You know, for uh, Wrestling Federation Championship at stake. Michael so, Hayes said it earlier, this may be Ted DiBiase's night. And coming from Michael, that's a pretty darn good prediction because he knows both these men extremely well. I'm certainly glad to be here. I want to thank everybody for inviting us to go home. It's a great match. And these men, there's no love lost between them, and they're getting it done. The one-man gang wanting to stop him, Teddy, up and get him right out of the block. But Ted DiBiase is a tough kid. I remember when he cut his teeth on the likes of Killer Carl Cox and Dick Murdoch. When you survive that, you can survive anything. DiBiase's firing back, Bill. I'll take the battle. I guarantee you'll fight. I first met Ted DiBiase in Tampa, Florida, when West Texas State played the University of Tampa. In the last season that Tampa had football, Kelly Blanchard was the quarterback on that team. Oh, the gang went for it. The gang, I think, is a little worried about DiBiase. He wants to put him out of commission fast. Of course, Jim Ted DiBiase said, but sooner or later, sooner or later, he's going to get his hands on Skandar Akbar in some kind of one-on-one -on -one situation. And he doesn't want the piece of Akbar. He doesn't care who wins or loses. He just like Akbar in there all by himself with him. But right now, he's got 500 pounds of the chief agent of Devastation Incorporated, and DiBiase is dishing it out. He certainly is. Ted DiBiase taking over the one-man gang. If you just joined us, this match is for the Universal Heavyweight Championship. General Skandal Akbar looking on at ringside. Along Steve Cox down there. He'll get a lesson on this. DiBiase is a master. You see, the gang has got so much mass, Jim. When a guy is that big, oftentimes a move that to you fans at home seems insignificant is just awesome due to the crushing power and the tremendous leverage. And there, of course, Akbar looks like he drove the heel of that whip just under the short ribs of DiBiase's back. Even Dr. Death Steve Williams has to have respect for that kind of mass. I remember he wrestled the only time I ever saw Doc actually pinned in his entire collegiate career was against Mitch Shelton, the fine Oklahoma State heavyweight who weighed about four, in excess of 450 pounds. You just have to respect that weight and that mass. I don't care who you are. You can't shoot it under. Akbar has taken some liberties while the referee has been detained with a one-man gang. Ted DiBiase trying to shake loose here and get back in the ring and get back on the attack. But you also got to realize Ted DiBiase doesn't want a, a, Akbar disqualified because he wouldn't get the title. He wants to win that title. And I think that, oh, one-man gang may have to hard time eating because they just took a fight out of that steel railing. And Teddy's firing away. The referee's trying to get Skandar Akbar back into his position. And DiBiase is carrying his battle right to game. Teddy caught one to a wild looping right hook into the gut by the top henchman of Devastation Incorporated. Ak Akbar seems to find him, Jim. I don't know how he keeps coming up with him. He's got Eli the Eliminator, the Wild Bill Irwin. He's always on the lookout and he's willing, willing to spend the money. And he has a gang of even 500 pounds in this contest. See that tremendous momentum the gang gets by whipping. Did you see how hard Ted hit those turnbuckle corner pads? That is a shocking situation. You hit so hard, it just jars your back, it jars your teeth, it gets your kidneys, it gets your lungs. The gang is so big, it's just he sets such centrifugal force when he whips a guy like that. There he goes again. But Teddy, Teddy was waiting for him. Oh, my gosh. They just, the gang just... He just annihilated the referee. The referee was just smashed. He's just like a waffle on a waffle iron. And now the gang has got DiBiase. Well, no, he at his mercy. Jim, there he goes. There he goes. He's going up. Just like he did in Fort Worth to Ted, he's going to try to put Ted right out of the business. 
the gang wants to eliminate Ted DiBiase from wrestling. Uh, that's almost like a total eclipse for sight. Oh, look at that man leap. Teddy moves that, that, that saved Ted DiBiase getting out of the way. Teddy's going for his glove, Jim. Teddy he's pulling out that glove. Ted says he's got to fight fire with fire. Man, he's got to save his life is what he's got to do. Here comes the gang. Gang is coming. Turn around, Ted. There it is. He just stiffed him in the bread basket. He's trying to fire off. Akbar tripped him. That again, Jim. I think there ought to be a penalty box there all the time for stuff like that. Now Akbar's in there. He doesn't care if he gets disqualified. Steve Cox is in there. Steve has pushed Akbar away. Steve should be watching from behind. Kid. Oh, Ted DiBiase drop kick the gang into Steve Cox. Yeah, Teddy's dropped one on this thing. is pandemic. Steve Cox is counting down. Cox, it's, it's, not a, it's not an official victory, but it's certainly a moral victory. And Ted DiBiase, Teddy's grabbed the belt. He's going to take the belt anyway. Ted DiBiase is going to take the belt and leave. Steve Cox counting down. The one-man gang of DiBiase is leading one of the championships. Akbar did an upgrade. Well, Teddy's going to get out of there while they're getting good. I can tell you that. He's grabbed Steve Cox. Let's go and look at the gang. He's really hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back for more UWF action. Don't you go away. Mike Wilson. 